Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. In this problem, we have the 25 pounds block uh, and it has an initial speed of 10 feet per second when it is midway between springs A and B. After striking spring B, uh, the block rebounds and slides across the horizontal plane towards spring A. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between the plane and the block is 0.4, determine the total distance traveled by the block before it comes to rest. So this is the block with an initial speed of 10 feet per second. And this is how we are going to solve it. We are going to solve it in parts. All right, so we are using the principle of work and energy. Uh, so kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy of the block uh, plus the total work from 1 to 2 is just equal to uh, the final kinetic energy. So we do have the weight of the block. Okay. Uh, we have uh, the normal force. And in the first case, we are saying uh, the friction will be in that direction. Okay. So this is the normal force. Uh, this is the normal force. And this is the friction. This is the weight. Okay. And then we do have a point where this block is going to strike the spring. And let's say this is the compression that this particular spring will undergo. And at this particular point, we expect, uh, we are going to expect, uh, sorry, we expect this reaction and this reaction like so. And this is the spring force, Fs. This is in the first case. All right where motion in this particular case is in this direction okay so motion is in this direction all right so let me call this part one or case one okay case one then we say motion uh to the right right motion to the right right so in this case uh we are solving it by parts so we'll say um we have half uh m v1 so this so let's call this point here is one this is 2, and this one here, let's call it Sx. All right, so squared. Then we have uh, work due to friction, which is negative, so Fk. Then plus the distance, and the distance we are considering 1 there plus uh, the, uh, the compression that the spring will undergo. Then we do have the negative work due to the spring force itself, which is just half, uh, ks, uh, k, k, kx, I'm using x here, squared, and then this is equal to zero, all right. Okay, zero, because we are saying um, it's temporarily or momentarily comes to a stop, okay? It has not stopped, we are saying it has momentarily come to a stop so here we are saying because of uh, momentarily comes to a stop okay that's the reason we are saying that all right so uh let's find what fk is so summation of forces in the y equal to m a y 
and our ay is just equal to zero and therefore this will just get n minus w equal to zero and therefore our n is just equal to mg and our fk therefore is just going to be equal to mu k n which is just equal to 0 0.4 uh, times 25 okay it's already in pounds right and um this fs fs is just equal to this fs is equal to this is equal to k times x okay all right so with this information here then we can plug everything there so this is just half we get this equation there this one here all right so this is half then we have the mass which is a 25 divided by 32.2 and then we have v which is 10 squared then minus 0 0.4 by 25 by 1 plus x minus half uh, k which is a 60 by x squared okay why so minus uh, we have fk like so then we have displacement like this therefore this is negative work for the spring force again look at the block we have the spring force like so we have the displacement like this this is also again negative work and hence we have those negatives there all right so from here we are able to calculate what x is so let's write this um this just becomes uh 30 minus 30 x squared and then minus uh, 0.4 by 25 this is a 10 x and then finally we have So we have uh, twenty eight point eight one eight one nine nine. Okay, equal to zero. So let's work out this. So our x therefore is just going to be equal to minus minus ten. We are using the quadratic. Uh, then there we have minus ten squared minus four a, which is thirty four a c. Then twenty eight point eight one nine nine right uh there we go and then we divide everything we divide everything by two a and our a is thirty therefore x is just going to be equal to uh, 10 squared uh, plus 4 by 30 by 28.8199 square root of that all right mm -hmm. right so our positive value i'm just looking for one positive value there i'm going to find two but i'm just interested in one so that is the value that we find that's the value of x this is what i'm going to do is we are now going to uh find at this particular point uh the block has compressed the spring so the spring has some energy 
So once the spring is released, then it will push the block to the left. All right. So I want to see how far the block is going to go to the left. So we are going to call this as, I'll not draw another free body diagram. So I'll just call this as case two and we say motion to the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's write down the equation. Again here, the only part that is going to play is this because we said the block was temporarily at rest from uh, point it was temporarily at rest at point two so now we are releasing the spring so that the block moves from two onwards and we don't know how far it's going to go so we are saying the initial kinetic energy because it was temporary is temporary at rest this is going to be equal to zero and then this is also going to be equal to zero we are assuming somewhere it is going to make a stop we don't know where right so we are just still we are just dealing with the summation of work from point one to point two and this is equal to and uh, the work by the spring is positive because as we release the spring the spring force is in the same direction with uh, the displacement so uh, we have we're going to have half times the mass all right so if this is if if what we found if let's call this one if this one that we found is x then uh we're going to call the other one that we're going to find as x prime right so we have this is just going to be equal to m sorry this is the spring k x squared then plus uh, minus uh, the friction force again here will have negative work because the friction force will be going in the opposite direction is it always opposes motion right so this is going to be equal to fk then times x then plus x star all right then equal to zero this x star uh, this is what we want to find how far will it go okay from b okay to the left right so we have half there uh, times 60 times 0 0.8275 squared minus fk we already found this is 0 0.4 by 25 okay by 0 0.8275 plus x star and equal to zero all right then from there let's move on let's move on like so right so what do we have here uh, let's find x star so our x star here is just going to be equal to we are using this equation here let's work it out so it just becomes uh, 0.5 by 16 by 0.25 square uh, divided by um, 0.4 by 25 okay and then uh, minus 0.8275 right so what we find is 1.2268 so 1 1.1 1.2268 feet and this is less than the length from a to b which is two feet 
Therefore, this means that the block did not reach uh, the spring A. Okay. So then if that is the case, then we can now find the total distance that the block traveled, right? Going to the right and then later on, going to the right and then later on to the left. So the total distance is just equal to 1 plus 2x plus x star, right? Mm -hmm. So we say that our x is equal to 0.8275, x star is equal to um 1.2268 and therefore the total distance uh the total distance is just going to be equal to 1 plus 2 by 0 0.8275 plus 1.2268 so this gives us a 3.8818 feet. Okay. So this is the total distance that the block traveled. Uh, going to the right. Okay. Going to the right. Um after striking the spring B, okay, and then later on it went to the left, but it never reached the spring A. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.